What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Janiqua, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap right into your reading and see what you need to know. Archangel Michael and Alegua, please protect me. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Let's play with my chakras as we tap in to the most important messages surrounding my everything's energy. I was about to say baby. Somebody might call you babe or baby. Okay. But let's tap in, y'all. Let's see what you need to be getting excited about. What is coming your way? What is headed towards you at this time? What you should be preparing for? Ooh. Opposites attracting. That's what you should be preparing for. All right. This is magnetic love. Magnetic attraction here with somebody you are both very different all right so when this card comes out you are dealing with somebody that don't talk like you they may not think like you they might come from a different background you might live in a different city you might have different traditions or beliefs you might be from a different ethnic all right but there's something about one another that you like all right, the reason why you guys are so attracted to one another is because you are different. He's different to you and you are different to him, period. All right, period. You guys are learning so much about one another and you are also learning how to trust, how to listen, how to be open to change with this person. All right, this is magnetic. Like for a lot of you guys, this is uncontrollable attraction, all right? When you think about a magnet, you think about it automatically comes to you, all right? So this is effortless, all right? Love and chemistry here, all right? Where two people can't get enough of one another because you guys are so different, all right? You ain't see nobody like that man no, nowhere. You ain't see nobody like that woman nowhere, and you like it, okay? So heavy attraction, all right, spirit, and very opposite, very different. So this means that there's going to be so much to learn in this connection, all right? There's going to be so much avenues to learn and grow and advance and bounce ideas off of one another, get to know one another instead of arguing. That's the cool thing about being different and embracing your individuality as a person. Okay? Spirit, give me more on this opposites attracting. You guys are both very different. Children. All right, so somebody wants to have children with you. All right, somebody likes your bloodline. Or they think that you make really, 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 really beautiful children. All right? So there's something about your beauty. There's something that's attractive. Maybe you're foreign. Maybe you literally speak another language. Or you're from like a completely different background where they like, oh, if I have children with this person, I know that they're going to come out so beautiful. So somebody is admiring your ethnicity. All right? Somebody is admiring um, how your children will look, all right? Somebody's already planning, all right, to blend families, foster adoption. They want it all, all right? With this opposites attracting and you are both very different, they feel like your kids are going to be different, all right? Literally, um, spirit, give me more or kids could be involved, okay? All right, give me more on this energy. The internet. In reverse. All right, so this person may not be big on the internet. All right, this person may not, or they might try to be hot. They might try to act as if they not big on the internet. All right, but they on your social sites. Also, you might not have to worry about this person, you know, like making you look silly on the internet you know what i'm saying disrespecting you in any kind of way on the internet all right this person might look scroll just like anybody else do 
all right, it's their phone, all right, they all, they pay the bill. So I feel like you ain't gonna have no type of interruptions or interferences when it comes to nobody's social media. All right, y'all too committed, y'all too different. I think that that's one of the things that's different about you guys. Like, y'all on some bigger and better things that there's no way the internet or social media could interfere with what y'all got going on. All right, this is, y'all locked in, this is your divine masculine. And this is your divine feminine. Okay, y'all locked in. All right, y'all, y'all take away the drama. All right, y'all go to each other to escape the drama and the negativity that might be around you guys. All right, but yeah, this is your masculine and this is your feminine. All right, y'all gotta have kids together. Somebody is just very fond of how your children will look. This is what somebody thinks about, for real. They think about having children with you and how they would come out because of the different ethnicity or the different culture, okay? Um, spirit, give me more on this opposites attracting. Yeah, but the internet and having anybody play with you or interfere or any type of things arising, but that's nothing, nothing. All right, that's gonna be nipped in the butt fast. All right, this is somebody that don't even, uh, with this internet and reverse date, this is somebody that, that will be the last thing you guys will be arguing about. All right, Spirit, give me more on this. Um, Opposites attracting, you guys are both very different. All right, focus. Look, it says focus, obsess, only eyes for you. All right, you got somebody that is completely at all with you. All right, how you look, how you talk, how you think, how you make decisions, how you make them laugh, your humor, your personality. All right, your reliability, your loyalty. All right, somebody don't want nobody else. They are not, and let me tell you, that don't mean they don't be around other women or other men, all right? It's depending on if you're the man or the woman in this situation, but they are fixated on you, all right? They are completely satisfied at home, baby, okay? They are fixated on you, all right? They are watching you like a magnifying glass, all right? They have eyes all over you, all right? You think you somewhere the whole time, all right? You're definitely being probably watched. All right, this is something, this is a protector. All right, they're watching you close. Okay, literally, they don't, I'm saying like, they don't even have time to be investing in nobody else because it's looking like they are a businessman. They don't have time to be on social media like that. All right, but they, you know, a man makes time for what they want to make time for, and it's you. All right, they are fixated, obsessed with what you are showing them. All right, literally. Spirit, give me more on this children, this blended family. Somebody literally romanticizes about how y'all children would come out looking or even talking or even being and growing because of the difference. All right, third party energy. Child, they might um, have a child somewhere else. They might be taking care of a child somewhere else. They might be getting out of a relationship, but there's some sort of interference. They might even watch children because a third party interference is just, it's just anybody, um, it's just anybody that is not y'all. So this could be family. This could be people that's asking too much of you guys. This could be people saying, oh, you what? can you watch my children? Or can you do this for the children the whole time? You're like, I have to be with baby girl or baby boy, all right, big daddy and big mama. All right, so um, Spirit, give me more on this third party energy, please and thank you. What is this third party energy with the children? Somebody may have children outside of a connection too. Spirit, give me more on this third party energy. Ooh, anxiety. So somebody is definitely nervous all right, about children. All right, somebody is definitely nervous about um, somebody um, being attracted somewhere else and heavily invested somewhere else where they are being loved unconditionally. All right, where this love doesn't have no judgment, no bounds. All right, they are being accepted how they are, for who they are. All right, they don't have to act as if they have more than what they really have. They don't have to act 
more smart or more intelligent, all right? They are being loved just the way they are, unconditionally, all right? Um, there may be somebody else that is getting the hint that they are prioritized somewhere else, that they happy somewhere else, and it, it's about to be like an irreconcilable final breakup and divorce is what I'm hearing, all right? There may be some legal things that is going on that may be attaching these people together. All right, Spirit, give me more on this anxiety. Please, surrounding this third-party energy. Taking it slow. All right, somebody, intuition is going off. All right, yeah, you guys are spicing it up. All right, so the attraction is heavy. The intimacy is heavy. All right, you guys are locked in. You guys are adding spice to your connection. It's adding spice and confidence to your life because y'all feeling more inspired to change things up, do things different, cut people off, go meet new people. All right, be more responsible, more reliable, more present. All right, more grateful. All right, so things are spicing up. All right, I'm getting like you are hot. All right, somebody can't get enough of you. You are hot. All right, you are hot. Okay, look, fire and water. All right, a match made in heaven, divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Yeah, this is your soulmate. All right, this is your soulmate, baby. All right, this is the last two pieces to the puzzle. All right, every relationship before this one was to prepare you for this. All right, so um, you guys could be a fire sign or a water sign, okay? But um, you guys are locked in. You guys are completely passionate and attracted to one another. All right, you guys don't have to compromise your business or your, your loyalty to your personal life. You know what I'm saying? And here we go. All right, coming together. Wow. Okay. So, Spirit, what's to come of this third party connection that's filled with anxiety because they feel like somebody is spicing it up elsewhere? All right. Possibly with children. Spirit, give me more on this. Um, what is to come of this third party? All right. In this third party connection, there might be um, issues surrounding money, work, all right, career, um, yeah, trust issues. All right. So, somebody knows exact. Y'all, look what came out. Look what came out, y'all. Trust issues and infidelity. Somebody know. Somebody is elsewhere. Somebody know that they are not committed. All right? Because in this infidelity card, it says a fling and emotional affair in Texan. And that's what makes this infidelity card kind of different from just cheating or stepping out on a relationship. All right? Um, it's an emotional Affair. So what was probably looked at as a fling or something has now its feelings involved. All right. Um, it's texting. It's conversating. It's building. All right. Look at this. All right. Um, they are very satisfied. All right. Intimate wise. They're very satisfied. You just do it for them. All right. You take them to a whole nother level. All right. Again, that other reading that came out, they will they you you. You, you kind of like make them want to explore you in different ways that they've never explored a feminine, okay? So um, this is like um, the closing out of a cycle of a third party connection of a karmic relationship, okay? Um, Spirit, anything else? Spirit, give me more on this trust issues, please. Um, it says insecurities and mistrust. So somebody's dealing with a lot of insecurities and self-doubt and low self-esteem, okay? That might manifest in com competition or arguments and tension, all right? Yeah, communication, all right? So they ringing up that phone, all right? They ringing up that phone and they not getting no answer, okay, with this communication in reverse, all right, so there's something where this person is probably out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they can't get through to you guys. All right, at all. I don't know if you guys normally put your phone on D&D &D or you guys are just asleep. But 
the trust issues and the insecurities is coming because they can't get a hold of you at nighttime. They can't get a hold of you during the day. All right, spirit, give me more on this emotional affair. Look, all right, they are content. There, it says finding peace in a situation. <gasps> Y'all, didn't I say it feels like an irreconcilable final breakup and divorce? This was just the icing on the cake. Finding somebody that y'all really love and is attracted to and really could grow with as a soulmate. Because it's bigger than just a fling. This is emotions involved. Let me tell you, there, they are content. All right? Somebody is finding peace in a situation where they are at. And literally, this is the final straw between a relationship that probably has history but was open all right it wasn't non-committal all right somebody found somebody that they are completely obsessed with all right even you know fantasizing about how your children will look so again as i said irreconcilable final breakup and divorce all right they were already separated they may have been you know there's a lot of things that may still attach people together friends family it's so a bunch of things but they've been separated there's something that is final that's creating a final irreconcilable and for some of you guys it's going to be because you're happy y'all finally finding peace that should be enough to change okay so y'all all right this is what's to unfold and what's to come so spirit what's the advice for all of this what is the advice for my everything? Let it go. I'm telling you. Somebody is giving back the keys. Somebody does not want access to what they have been given access to for way too long. All right? Somebody is realizing that those opportunities, the, that access to whatever that it is going on, um, it's not healthy. All right, it can't get them into new doors or new opportunities in their career or meeting the right people or finding emotional fulfillment and passion and pleasure. All right, this is somebody moving on, releasing the past, giving back the keys and letting go. All right, when one door closes, another one opens. Yeah, this is somebody that is dealing with insecurities, low self-esteem. Somebody probably never thought in a million years that this would happen. You know, a lot of the times, no matter if you are a man or a woman, a lot of y'all exes and a lot of the people that you are moving on from, all right, they never thought in a million years you would find somebody that would value you, all right? They never thought in a million years you will be happy and really fall in love with somebody and not use them. Yup. All right, so what is the um, closing out messages, Spirit? So that's the advice, letting go. All right, letting go, giving back the keys, not wanting access. All right, not getting access. All right, coming soon. Something is coming very soon. All right, look, toxic energy. Be aware of this toxic energy. They moving, they moving a yawn. So I'm going to cut this short. All right, but look, it's a new soul contract for me. All right, cleanse y'all energy, y'all. I love y'all.